Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. And today I think is 139, 138 or 139, I'm not sure. And Lauren is in her dressing gown, yeah. No wig, just me. And people think, oh God, she's going to be emoting. She's going to be talking about PTSD or whatever. But no, this is the awakening. This is the ascension. Whatever I feel guided to teach you about, that's what I will do. And so today, I want to talk about what I, I knew because I had this massive meditation. And what I want to talk about is the ascension, what it is, what I feel it is, what the awakening is, and how we are negotiating it um, in a way, okay? To me, it's a, it's a total rebirth, okay? And, and why do I say that? Why do I say it's a rebirth, okay? It's because we're shedding everything. So you're shedding all your preconceived notions, all your identities, the ego, everything you've been brought up to believe, everything other people have told you, everything the media have told you, everything science has told you, um, everything, 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 all your karma, all your past life karma, um, everything, everything. Um, I'll give you an example because I was talking to Martin about this the other day. If you were told that something ugly was beautiful, then you would believe that that in the word is beauty, right? So you would, everything that you were taught now, you are shedding. So for example, the fact that I have got this and I've always had it, even when I was in my twenties, because I've seen it in my old photographs, to you, that's an issue, isn't it? It's like, oh my God, look, she's got a double chin. Now, it doesn't mean that I'm fat or that I'm eating all the time or that I've got an eating disorder or whatever. It just is, okay? Now, if someone told you that this is a bad thing to have, okay? It's not pleasing to the eye or whatever, and that's what you believe, okay? Of course, when you look outside of the body's eyes, you can see that. And you think, oh, Lauren needs to lose weight or she needs to have a facelift. Or, and guess what the ego does? It wants to do this. <laughs> the ego, the personality wants to do this. Yeah. OK. Right. But the heart loves me regardless with all my lumps and bumps and whatever. No wig today. Just me. And my mother would go crazy with me. Good. <laughs> just wild. Look, being in bed, didn't get up because I was working, putting out encounters all night and all morning. So couldn't cope with doing anything, just slept and slept and meditated and got um, this idea of coming on and doing this ascension talk. Okay, so you've got to go back to the basics. So pretend that you're reborn. It's a bit like, of course, the miracle says. You start from the beginning, like do, re, mi. Let's start at the very beginning, a very good place to start, yeah? You go back and back and back and back and back. And that's how you discover the real you. Because how can you find out who you really are? You have to take off your ancestors. You have to take off your beliefs. You, you have to take everything off of you, shed it bit by bit, shed, shed, shed everything, all the layers that were put on top of you, you know, everything since the time you were born, or in my case, since the time before I was born, because of the grief that I accumulated losing the twin in the womb, or everything the baby hears, the baby hears everything, the baby feels, the baby hears, and the baby picks up what the mother is feeling, the baby picks up what the father is feeling, they know if they're wanted, they know if they're not wanted, that fetus knows everything, everything. It's not just a cell. It's already a consciousness. And I will stand by that because of the experiences I have. I will never, ever agree with abortion again because you're taking away that life. Now, if, the, if it, it's a miscarriage, that's different. Then, that, then it decides to leave. That consciousness leaves on its own. 
So what, I'm, what am I trying to say here? Ascension, to ascend, it doesn't mean that you're literally ascending. It means that you're, you're literally becoming lighter because the lighter you become like a feather, the higher you can get in your vibration. But the only way you can do that is by taking off the baggage. The baggage, the baggage has to come off. And that's why we're going through everything. Everything, the outside world is showing you, is mirroring you what's in your insides, what's inside. You're going through everything, 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 everything. And let it happen. So don't fight it. That would be my advice. Don't fight it. Now, if you want to scream, you want to shout, you want to let it out. It's an incredible experience. It's an incredible experience. And if you're a creative being like an artist, then I think one of the best, most exciting ways for you to become that pure star seed or soul energy, because that's all, um, that you are really before you take on everybody else's issues and problems and the world and this planet you know as I said you took on people's ideas notions natures beliefs values and um, say if your your dad kept saying or your mom I've seen this before I don't like fish okay that's what they'd say then the child would automatically say I don't like fish and then I would confront that child and say, have you ever tasted fish? No, I don't like salad. Well, mom, mom doesn't like salad, so I don't like salad. Do you see what I mean? But who are you? Who are you? And so if you're a creative, this is, I recommend that you really enjoy this. Enjoy the pain. <laughs> don't, enjoy the process of the pain of letting go. Because pain is resistance. If you have pain in the body, it means the body is not relaxed. It means it's resisting something. Because the minute you breathe into the pain, it lets go. Isn't that what Lenny told us in the healing blueprint? So if you're a creative and you haven't created, like if you look at Van Gogh, you look at Bach, even look at Encounters, my musical, came from such suffering and pain that heartbreak, Sharon's heartbreak, was my life. It happened to me. He walked away from me, this man that I was with for, for about four months. We were spiritually married, etc. One row, he walked away. I was dead. I was finished. I put that into Encounters and Heartbreak and Sharon. And that's why the piece of music is so impressive and so powerful, because I put it in. If you're an artist, then put it all into your art now. Ascend with your creativity. And what do I mean like by that? <laughs> what I mean is find a way when I sing. And if you watch me sing, I sing everything that's going on. Everything. I've, I sing my grief. I sing my loss. I sing my joy. You just have to look at my eyes. And that's why I always show you the eyes. When I'm singing, like if I, I get close to the screen, if I'm singing something like, um, let me think. If I'm singing something like, um, dream a little dream of me. It's a huge longing to connect, it, it, it's wanting to give you that gift of love, of, 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 of dream, a little dream of me. So just can I make you happy? You know, it, it's like connection through the eyes, dream. Or if I'm singing something like, everybody hurts, and you can see, you can see. Or I would do anything for you. I would do anything. You know, it's through that the eyes of the soul. And so when I sing, when I go like that, it's like the hills are alive. And it's like I'm going with the hills. I'm flowing. I'm I'm alive. Okay, so you, if if you're an artist, right? I recommend now 
to create that piece or those pieces of music. Say, music is a great innocence. Music is innocence to me. It's a vibration. Music is God, music is love. Music is just a vibration, okay? The voice does this. Why do they vibrate? How do I do that? Because the two of the chords do this, okay? With air, okay? So if I take two chords and I do them separately, oh, they vibrate together like that, together. All it is is air, vibration. It's neutral. It doesn't have, it's not happy. It's not sad. It's not frustrated. It, but when you put emotion into that air, music, that vibration, say you put intense longing. So listen to the difference. I can feel it because I want to cry. Say if you're a violinist and <laughs> my body is an instrument, just like a violin, just like if you are a singer, then do it with your voice. Create that album, create that piece of music. If you're frustrated, then you see, it's frustration. If you're frightened, these are just examples. Maria Kala said it. I want the music to curse through your veins. I want the audience to feel when we die, when we live, when we laugh. <laughs> Pure joy. <laughs> That's if you're a singer. If you're a musician, you can do, you know, it's easier, I think, because, well, the body doesn't always connect to that, those emotions. You have to practice. And the best way is just literally just go with it. And that's what I recommend for your ascension. With me, it's music to create to sing all of those emotions. I'm doing it in front of you every single time I pick up a mic. The frustration, the pain, the longing, the joy, the excitement, the karma, the childhood, the past, the eviction, the police, everything, everything, everything goes into my singing now. And, and, and I would recommend if you're, if you're an artist, get a piece of paper and draw it like Van Gogh. So, you know, love. It's just nice and flowy and frustration. Use your emotions in the ascension. Use your creativity. And that's why I always say, how to stay sane in a crazy world. If you want to be sane, you use your creativity and use it in the next, particularly now. The energies are everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Do it now. Do it now up until the Nisara and Gisara, up until we get that calm that we deserve. Now is the time to do your art, guys. All right? Music is neutral. That piece of paper and those paints are neutral. Colors are neutral. Why do you think colors calm us down or make us feel? If you look at a certain color, your mind, why do you paint rooms a certain color, like a very nice, gentle, purpley, gentle violet? Because it calms the mind. Because the mind follows, yeah? The mind will follow. So use, use colors, use music, use everything that you are 
and put it, put everything, put the ascension into it. Ascend, ascend fully, because when you do that, at some point, you will empty out everything. So say, if you're unhappy with someone, use it in your music. Don't go and apologize to that person. Don't. I'm actually saying to you, don't do that until you've put it into your music. Because you're going to get something out of that music <clears throat> that you cannot put into an apology. As an artist, you'll understand what I mean. <clears throat> Sometimes you go and you apologize and then that's it. But what if you use that and you use the buildup, use the anger, use the frustration, use the intenseness of what you can bring to the table, bring it through your music. I recommend you do that. If you're an artist, bring it through your art, paint it. Paint, how does it feel to not want to apologize? Because the ego says I'm right. The ego is always right, you know? <laughs> but you know, the soul knows everything. The, 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 the pure energy that you are knows that nobody has hurt you. No human adult can hurt another adult because we're fully responsible for everything. And we're mirrors, we're there to highlight, we're there to heal, we're there to bring alive something. So use that. So it's kind of boring saying, I'm sorry. They say love means you never need to say you're sorry. Well, use that then. Love can be tough. I've had a lot of tough love. And I thrive when I get it. I don't want it all the time, but I do get a lot of tough love. Lauren, the personality. And I can assure you, you will get the best masterpieces. You, I've been told that some of us are going to win Nobel Prizes because the, the amount of love that is going to go into our art. Okay, I've been told this. We will win Nobel Prizes. Well, I've been put up for a Grammy with Paul McDonald because of Heart Vision. And that was created from all the stuff that came up on the Bionamics bed. The total synchronicity of putting the whole of the Holocaust, the wars, uh, everything. He basically, I was the student. I went to see my master, Mr. Medicine Man. The bionamics, he put me on that bed and he used the light and sound and he used whatever he does because I, I bow down to that and I'm totally, um, my humility and totally, what's the word? <laughs> totally humble, that's the word, humble. Heart vision came from his shamanistic medicine man. What well, he, he was, my teacher, my mentor, and that had to come out of me. The Jewishness, the Russian, the accordion, the Irish, mom, dad, the wars, the, the, the concentration camps, the, the, the trains, the sirens, you hear it all in our vision. If you listen to Paul's voice, that is the cantor in the synagogue. Oh my God, I feel it now, it's so emotional. The way he sings, he sings like a cantor in a synagogue. A cat, it may, he may not know this, but I do. My soul knew that, and his soul knew that. And that's how Heart Vision came. And Heart Vision is up for a Grammy, only because of the bionamic bed. You know, before the bionamic bed, Paul and I sat and laughed. We laughed about everything. We laughed about the madness of the world. We just sat and laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. So the vibration was right, okay? pure laughter. We just let go. We were just totally honest with each other and laughed about everything. There was nothing between us, no barriers. And then he put me on that bionamics thing and the pain, I, I felt like I was going to be experimented on the concentration camp. And I felt when he, he put something on it, I think he put gloves on to, to do something with the electricity. I, I felt really really scared and I told him I said oh my god I feel like you're going to do something to me and he said okay I don't think he could deal with it because on that level I'm fine but it doesn't it's unusual for someone to say that isn't it 
for a child who was abused. So anyway, he did what he did with the lights and then he, he carried on doing what he was doing. And I went through every single process I needed to go through. I was in a concentration camp. I was fear, I was fight and flight. Everything came up on that bed. And I came off and he said, how are you? I said, I feel like shit, <laughs> which is great. It means everything was coming up. So Paul knew what to do, exactly what to do. He put me back on again. And then he gave me this beautiful light of love. And oh, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I just relaxed completely and let go. He knew exactly what to do because that's his job. And my job, our job was to create heart vision, a piece of music that will win a Grammy or whatever, it's up for a Grammy. Everybody knows what that piece of music is. That was the culmination of what I needed to get out of me in order to do what I'm doing, in order to become Lauren Hope Glory, CEO of Moving On TV, Moving On Theater, Humanitarian, in order to go there and do my job, in order to ascend. And so he, and then he started playing something. But if you listen to Heart Vision, dissect it, and I will do another video and I will dissect Heart Vision for you. But I'm, I'm dissecting it here. There I am, not me, Lauren. Lauren, my mother, my father, my ancestors, the Jews, the Russians, the Irish, the Accordion, everything, the wars, Israel, sirens, the trains, you can hear it. And then he, this incredible singing voice that he has, which was my happy times with dad when I'd go to the synagogue and we'd listen to the cantor, the singer in the synagogue, the chazan. Paul did that. And the harmonies that I used to do with my dad, my dad taught me harmonies. Everything is in heart vision. And I don't think he realized it, but I did. Our souls knew everything was there, everything. And that's what I'm saying to you. I intend to take that now with the grace of God and everything that I, I'm going through and find a way how to put that into more music. And I'm doing that with you guys. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm waiting so this can happen because the rawness of, of whatever was going on on that bionamic bed went into her vision. And I've never experienced, I've never ever had a piece of music like that. And so whatever Paul did created that piece of music that people are in awe of and is already up for awards. And I want that to progress into an album now where it's pure rawness. There were no microphones, nothing. I don't know how he did it. We just sang, there was no microphones, there was no studio. That's what I want. I want to recreate it, the nature of it. It's a bit like ecstatic dancing, but using the voice. It's ecstatic singing. <laughs> That's what I want. So what I'm saying here is, be grateful for every single emotion that's coming up. And if you want to stay in bed today because you feel ill, like I've been in bed all day today, I had to cancel everything because I was so ill, then do that. Do that. Meditate. Connect inside and figure out what do you want to do with this? Because one day when you've done that piece of art, like I've done heart vision, or we did heart vision, you will listen to that. You know, that you will listen to that and you will be grateful. Well, I'm grateful, obviously I'm grateful, but you will listen to that and you will close your eyes and you will see your past. As it's unraveling, you will see those identities. Let's say Russian, Jewish, Israel, wars, sirens, all falling off, all falling off, thanks to Paul. Thanks to his incredible, I mean, a natural shaman, I call him Mr. Medicine Man. He's a natural. You don't have to study to be a shaman. You already are, some of you. So we all are, but we need to choose our, we all have different strengths. Like I know what my strengths are and what they aren't. 
that's not my, my, we're all shaman why is a shaman a shaman is just a doctor a doctor that helps you balance your mind body spirit that helps bring up what needs to come up that heals you in every single way every cell of your body you know <clears throat> paul is knows how to do that with technology and his singing and and whatever he does you know we all have our strengths and we all come together. I'm the media that puts it all out there for all of you to find out about these. You don't need to study to be a healer. That is not love. Take away Reiki. Why do you have to pay 500 pounds to become a healer when you already are a healer? Every single mother is already a healer. She holds her child. I had an aunt who took away my headaches. <laughs> You can do telepathic healing. You can close your eyes. And I do it and say to someone, can you please heal my neck and shoulders? And they just do it automatically. It's love. It's the connection that we are. The rest is money. Greed. I always said that. It really made me angry. You can study Reiki for free online. Honestly, I did it. You, can, you are masters already. You're masters. Every single one of you is a master. Yes, we need to earn a living, but that's exploitation. Because what if um, the street cleaner wants to study Reiki? Does that mean they've got, where they're going to get 500 pounds for Reiki one or Reiki two? It's disgusting. Did Buddha tell his disciples to pay him? No. This is not love. That A lot of the new age stuff, that's coming from somewhere else. And I've known that in here. If you can't afford something that's going to make you well, and this person will not barter in some way because they understand, then I'm not coming from the heart because it's impossible to not come from to, to be able to do that. I'm sorry. Yes, you do need to earn a living, don't get me wrong. But if someone is in a lot of pain, why do you think I give out so much with living on TV? Not because I'm holier than thou, but because I'm coming from love. And I want every single one of you to learn. I'm passing you on to Martin, to Paul, to Lenny, to all these people that I put on for you, Kathleen, Brad, who are teaching you for free on Moving On TV. If you want to work with them, it's nothing to do with me, but I'd like to think that they will find a way to work with you if you're really suffering. And I know they would because they wouldn't be on Moving On TV if they wouldn't these are the kind of people that give yes they have to earn a living but i believe that they would find a way also to help those who have nothing i know paul's done loads of work for free on donation so is martin we all do because our mission is to try and help you or to barter but then that's between you and them but what i'm saying is and these people we've all given and given and given and once this goes and it's going it's it's you know we live in a, like someone said to me money isn't important of course money is important that's a load of rubbish and i'm sorry but if people say you can be happy um regardless of not having a roof over your head and food and no not in this day and age maybe if you were a monk or maybe if you were on that vibration of wanting to live without anything. But to live in a house, you have to pay a greedy landlord everything you earn at the moment, all right? Without being too judgmental, that's how we're living. It's all about that. They enslaved us. That is not love. You cannot be happy if you can't feed your children. So don't tell me that money doesn't give you happiness. I want to sometimes, that brings up a lot of anger in me, huge anger. What really angered me, and because this is awakening, I can tell you, what triggered me yesterday in such a big way was this little kid um, who is only starting to perform, who's got a very little talent, who I invited on to encounter. Sorry, but true. And I would have put them everywhere. Kid, yeah? When I've had um, 50 years, well, no, not 50 years. Well, since I was born, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting younger, so it doesn't matter. But I, I've had so I've shown you what I've done. This little kid, 20 year old or 15 year old, I don't know, they could they could just about sing, 
said that they wouldn't pay 20 pounds to register when I pay for everything. I, I teach everything for free. I pay everything. I put them everywhere. They go all over the world. God, it's making me, my blood boil. When I was expected to pay 200 pounds to model agencies and they get away with it. Oh, they'll pay them, but they won't pay encounters or moving on theater. So let them, they can go. I don't want them. Is that attitude? I'll know. What do I do them for? Every single person that works on encounters, we are a family. We work together. And they'll be sending me messages saying, I hope you're okay, Lauren, because I wasn't today. I'm, I was angry and I am angry. And I want to put that into my music because how dare these people, the, the, these people that have not done anything for their craft, nothing. How could you have done anything at 18 years old when I've been working the amount, you've seen my work. I've put it out on movie on TV. You've seen my work. Oh, the ego is really angry. I can feel it. I'm burning up. 20 pounds registration. That's all I ask. They get everything from me. They get free tutoring. They go on the Zoom. They go all over the world. And they wouldn't pay 20 pounds to cover everything that they're getting. Oh, because I'm a professional. Are you? Well, show me a contract. Show me 40 years of work. Oh, I wanted to kill that child, that young person. How dare they? This is the ego. Put it into your singing. Put it into your music. God, I hope I can. Because this is pure rage. And it's good because I'm burning up at the moment. Feel it. If you're drawing, draw it. Because I am raging with this person. Raging. You see, they're told, don't pay anything to get anywhere. So they expect everything for free. But I understand, I understand that they'll be told that. Oh, but they'll pay 200 pounds for an agency to put their pictures out there. Oh, they will. And they think they'll get the work and they won't get anything. And yet if they came to moving on TV, they would get the world. They get their own shows, you know. And so why are you doing this, Lauren? Why are you letting them use you? No, Vlad and Luke and Emmanuel and Martin give their heart and soul. And I pay them when I can. If I can, we work together to build something together. They will get shares. They will get support. They will they get loads from the work we do together. We work together. So for some little, you know, after we've been working together for a year, they've got to be to say to me, oh, I get it. I get it. You're go I'm going to get this. Thank you so much, Lauren. Thank you. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, Emmanuel, for helping me. I've never done this before. I'm going to get so much from being in encounters. You know what? If you can't see it that way, then fuck off. I don't want you. Sorry, but I'm angry today. I'm very angry. And that put me into such a space that you got the whole of my career last night. Because the ego wanted to show you how much Lauren has done compared to that child. A child that's never done anything in their life for their craft. They can hardly sing. They're just basic. I would have enhanced them. You see what I do, the acting. I mean, Manuel is always saying thank you. Everyone, everything comes out of my pocket. Everything. I have uh, the Zoom, the, the website. Uh, restream everything I'll pay for everything 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 and why do I do it because I love it and because I get it back in different ways but if someone turns up and they're not prepared to contribute a tiny amount 20 pounds that's it registration fee nothing else the amateur companies charge 70 pounds a year and they get it so that's how I'm feeling today and I couldn't function because of that can you see 
how big this ego is. It couldn't function. It made me so angry. 20 pounds when these agencies are getting 250. They never gave me anything back. I've had no work from any of them. And neither will these children, that, these little actors and performers that think they've got more to offer than they have. I enhance them, I'm sorry, but that's my job. And they get their own shows. You see what we do in Encounters, but I will only work with those that have gratitude in them and not some little child that says to me, oh, I was told not to pay anything. I'm a professional, all right. Do you see what the ego does? And I can't breathe today. I, I just want to scream. And so this has got to go into my music. It, and it's, you know, this is my work. This is Lauren's work. And you're never upset for the reason you think, Lauren. So go back, 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 back. Where, what's this reminding you of? Where is this taking you? Where is this taking me? Well, you work and work and work and work and work and you get nothing. You work and work and work and you get nothing. And that's been years and years and years and years where the media wouldn't give me a job. No one gave me a job because I wasn't one of that lot. But now that's the ego. These are the layers that I'm talking about and we got to it. And I feel it and I'm burning up and I don't want to eat. I don't want to get out of bed. I don't do anything. So don't, don't pick up a piece of, if you're an artist, draw it. If you're a musician, sing it. If you can, I'm not going to sing tonight. I'm tired, but feel it. Feel it. It's all about feeling it and use this now. So say, for example, if I had a bio, if I was going to go on the Bionamics now, if that was the opportunity and I was going on with all of this, Paul would know what to do. He will know exactly what to do with it. That's what I'm saying to you. Go and see him. He knows what to do. And sometimes it's stuck in me. I feel like I need to talk to a friend about this. To, to, I know exactly who to talk to who's been through the journey with me. The person who has seen the 30 years of continuous work without feeling the ego feels it got nowhere. The ego feels it got nowhere. Less than 2,000 subscribers, this is the ego. You've got no way, you did nothing, you're being evicted, you've got no family, you've got no car, you've just got a car that's practically broken down. Yada, 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 yada. That's the ego. And it has to be shared. So it's coming up to be shared. So this is a very serious awakening, as usual, but do the same as me. Feel. So I sent a message back to that person very kindly and said, you get a hell of a lot when you come on board Moving On Theatre. And if you're a professional, then provide me with professional contracts and then you don't have to pay a registration. They chose not to get back to me, whatever. They'll be sorry because I will never work with that person again. Why would I? The only kind of people I want to work for, unless they have a huge shift. That's not the vibration I'm interested in. So they just come here take because that's what they do and disappear the other guys have stayed we're a family they're my family as you saw new year's eve we work together so the same way as you're letting go of all the shaft and i'm coming out with that pure gold wheat they're going everything is going same as you look outside into the world all the shit all the negativity all the corruption all everything is going so we can be left with purity and innocence purity and innocence and and that's going to take sometimes it takes a lot think about how long buddha worked on himself buddha went through everything if you don't believe me watch there's an amazing hindu production of the life of buddha with jagat singh that i interviewed and you can watch it he went through hell he went to every single level in order to find his balance. It's all about balance, right? Everything's about balance. When you come into balance, to me, that's purity, that's innocence. That's when the soul is at home. That's it, balance. Pure balance. You go from one extreme to another. Happened in the therapeutic community. 
we go from total narcissism to caring too much. Then you bring it back into balance. You do that with your art. Go crazy with the rage. Go crazy with the joy. Go crazy with every single emotion. You have a right to have them, put them into your art. I do the breakdowns on the stage so I don't have to do them on the street. That was my logo for Piaf and, and Maria. And my heart is broken that I can't do those shows anymore. I loved it. That was my happy times. Piaf and Maria Callas. No, rien de rien. No, je ne regrette rien. Ni le bien qu'on m'a fait, ni le mal. Tout ça m'est bien égal. No, it was like pure joy and madness and fear and panic and rage and everything, 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 everything on the stage. Everything, everything, everything on that stage. And Callus's depressions. <laughs> Just before she goes to kill herself. Pure, unbelievable suffering and depression. <laughs> from the gut and I miss it so much it wouldn't let me progress onto the media because I wasn't a celebrity that was the happiest time of my life Edinburgh as you saw And that's the ascension, guys. I ascended on the stage. And then I came back into this shithole of a life. Because that's how they destroyed our world. They wouldn't let me perform. You had to have money for theatres. Or they wouldn't. They take your money. They wouldn't do anything to help you. They wouldn't do box office splits. And they literally say to you, you're not a celebrity, so we're not going to put you on. Even Ruby Wax, go sing on a bus, apparently. That's what she said to me, go sing on a bus. I do not perform with anyone who takes who won't take medication. So this is all in me, and it needs to come out. And it, it's a lifetime. As I said, Buddha, how long did it take Buddha to become Buddha? But we're in different vibrations. Use the vibrations that are here. We're going crazy. This, the next couple of weeks, we're going to be going crazy. We're going to be going from here to here to here to here to here to here. From here. Use it. Use it now. Use it. Don't wait for Nasara and Jasara when everything is calm. Use all of what you've got now in your art. Use it now. Use it now. Use it now. Don't procrastinate. Do it now. Use it now. If How? Get a piece of paper and draw it if you're an artist. Get a space and, and do your music. If you can't go to a studio because of effing lockdowns, get a room. And, and you don't need mics, you just need, you'll find someone who'll put reverb on your music. That's what happened with Art Vision. There was no mics, no studio. Look what we came up with. Do it. Just use it now. Use it now while the madness is going on all around us. That's the time to do it. Bring it all into your art. As I said, your art is pure innocence, neutrality. Music doesn't have, it's God. It's, it, it doesn't have anger or fear. You bring it in with your creativity, your emotions, the way you get your body to vibrate. If you're a singer, 
the way you get your cords to vibrate, your cells to vibrate. This is my instrument. If you're a violinist, if you're a piano player, if you're a drummer, that connects with you, your violin and, and everything that you are put together creates everything. It's neutral. A violin is just a piece of wood with a few strings. If you put anger into it, it'll be da, 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 da. If you put beauty and love into it, it'll be and, and, and that's what I mean. And the instrument that your body is, is the same. It's neutral. The cells are neutral. You can make them happy like Myrtle Fillmore and heal every single disease, like even TB, cancer, everything, everything. If you love and the, the cells jump up and down and smile and say, thank you, thank you, thank you. It will become a healthy, loving body. Every single condition will heal. If you put love and calm and beauty and gentleness into these cells, music is a great way. If you put music that calms the body, you will feel everything will calm down. It's like the experiments that they did with water. You put anger into water and you got these really dark crystals. You put love into the water. You got this beautiful white snowflakey crystals, gentle, sweet, you know, easy. That's it. That's the ascension, guys. I love you. Get going on your art now. Now, while the energies are crazy. Do it. Bye.